uh, auction. A couple of days went by, I won the report on some of the timelies. Here's the all winners uh, number six. Pretty classic cover. Only one seven fifty. I think that's uh, uh I would have expected maybe a little more from this. Oops. Let's look at this uh, cover here. That's pretty nice. And a four, you know, is a. Uh, it's mid grade, but I mean you're approaching highish <laughs> as far as uh, golden age comics. Let's see what's next here. Okay, so it's not all timelies I wanted to look at, but uh, this is a classic cover. So awesome. Wouldn't mind having one of these. Cover detached. Completely split. But look at that. Really nice. Really nice presentation. Six two seven seven. Yeah, you you don't see this one very often at all. Seems to be pretty darn rare. I don't have the CGC census off the top of my head, but yeah, I mean that. So that price, I clearly reflect reflects uh how nice that presents. I mean, you know, you have that on your wall or whatever. I mean, that's just as good as having a higher grade. Same effect. This, I thought, was a little low. Let's take a look at this in Max. Okay, it's pretty beat up, but, you know, it's got good registration on there. Pretty good. Let's see. And, um, some writing, creamed off white, that's not bad, cover detached, piece reattached to interior with tape, tape on interior. Yeah, I mean, looks good to me, looks really good. Seven, six, seven. I would say, oh, I wish I saw this in bid, but yeah, who knows how, how much that that guy who won, you know, he could have put in 10K. So just because I might have paid, you know, maybe 8K or something, or who knows what I would have done, but uh, doesn't mean I would have won. I thought this was pretty low. You really don't see this very often. Check this out. A 5.5. First Sandman. I consider this the first appearance, even though it was in uh, one of the, um, what was it? World, oh gosh. I can't remember what it's called, the, uh, World Trade, oh man, I, I'm drawing blank, but, uh, it was, uh, the, in one of those, um, New York Fair, World Fair, New York World's Fair, maybe that was, <laughs> man, it's been a long day, sorry guys, but, uh, that's, I think, considered his real first appearance, but, uh, you know, I think... I'd rather have this for sure. And only 16. It seems... I bet that someday this will seem like retardedly low. Nice action in here. I think this is the, what, fifth? Fifth Superman cover in actions. Really cool. Twelve K. Oof. Yeah, I mean, there's, compared to some of those books we've just looked at, there's a lot more of these on the census, but expensive. You know, I guess it just, the closer you get to number one, and the fact that number one is just not going to be possible for most, 
you know, just keeps going up. This was interesting. It was just a page of Action One. <laughs> Pretty cool. At least it's got Superman on there. I could say you got a piece of Action One. Page, what page is it? Second page, uh, yeah. seven, six. Whew. I think I'd definitely <laughs> rather have uh, that all, all select or the all star than just one page from this. Now, if it was the cover, hey, that I that's definitely worth it. Now, this actually, yeah, let's let's go to. Oh, I have two of those. Let's uh, go to this guy first. So continuing down from the other complete one, so a uh, fourth, his fourth cover, one of my personal favorite books, man, so cool, slightly brittle, uh, probably, I'd say that that, uh, Kept it low, but I wouldn't really call 24K low. Oh, what I, I meant to comment on before was that uh, Sandman, I think it said small amount of color touch, but it was still a blue label. thought that was interesting. Now the... <laughs> The uh, second cover appearance. Oh, very small amount of dried glue. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Cover detached. Ah, it's one of my favorite defects. Because, I mean, it absolutely does nothing to the presentability of a comic when it's in the slab or in my life for that matter. I mean, you know, if you're not going to be reading it a lot, who cares if it's detached? And you know, it's a major ding. It could go down to four. I think the highest a detached cover can get is 4.0. This is really nice. Oof, man, that is nice. Look at that. Like no big major defects, creases or anything that calm your attention too much. I mean, a little bit there, but who cares? Like. Look at that. That is nice. And this has like lots of big patches of solid color that really could kind of feel ruined, you know, if uh, there was a bunch of creases or it just would really uh, kind of showcase the defects. And this is super clean. Yeah, I could see this going for high. <laughs> yeah, 87K. Man. Overstreet Guide, 2.5, 50K, yeah. Nice try. This was, uh, seemed like a good deal, this one. Yeah, it's a pretty good deal. Nice, presentable. I mean, it's got the centerfold married, but doesn't bother me. Uh, it looks like, you know, probably center, uh, maybe it's a subscription crease, perhaps, or they just, someone folded it in half. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, uh, you think of Batman 1, you, I always would suspect you, you know, need to pay at least this, but probably more. Here we go, some caps. Let's do a cap. This one's pretty cool. Signed by Joe Simon. Really cool. Nice cover, too. Look at that. Very nice. At least in that part, you know, where it matters. And the total is 
86k. Whew. Wow. That's a lot. But you know, there's barely any probably verified Joe Simons. Or you could have for the price of <laughs> I don't know. Three of those, I guess. Seven oh ooh man. That is that is incredible. Seven oh amazing. I wonder, you know, how they preserved it that well for so long. Two thousand forty-three. Could get a nice house for that. And this book is pretty expensive. First Stan Lee published. Oh, a lot of people probably didn't like that. But, you know, you don't see the... Oh, look how crisp that title lettering is. Man, that color just pops. Really nice. Yeah, great colors. 5.0. Hmm. Let's take a look at that back cover. I imagine if uh didn't have this this thing could maybe go maybe fifty fifty K. You know, even if uh staples like that uh don't bother you, you you can't help but not you just feel a little irresponsible if you pay a lot for it because you know if you had to sell that thing, everyone else would be complaining and lowballing you. And, you know, it really affects uh, the ease of selling and the. Uh, it, it can really affect uh, how many people are in the pool for buying your book if you ever have to sell it. You know, maybe in the future that won't be such an issue. Or maybe, you know, you can. Uh, get get it conserved, um, but it does really affect uh, you know what you might be willing to pay. And then lastly, we got the interior. This seems expensive. High nine. I mean, a nice interior. Um, I wouldn't be surprised over that, that or over, you know, I think it's full market, but you know, this has a lot of stuff missing, you know, five center wraps. Hmm. Pages five through 11 pieces out. Just have to see what pages those are. But, you know, someone who's really uh, doing their homework and looking at what pages are going for if they're, you know, taken out of this and slabbed, you know, could be making a lot of money. It is uh, universal, so if you did have a cap that was missing some of these, you know, I... I a lot of comics are missing the first one or two wraps, so they might have needed those. And if you have a really nice cap and it's not restored and you put these on there, you know, it could be could be worth a lot. All right. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching.